Hello, my name is Otan Horvitz, and I'd like to show you how Logs.io's observability platform can help you investigate and troubleshoot issues in your environment effectively based on the best of breed open source stack. Let's look at an example incident. I start with Grafana dashboard of my Cassandra database, where I suddenly see a spike in the Cassandra read latency, roughly between 2 p.m. and 10 p.m. These are the peak hours, in fact, where users from both North America and Europe are logged in. Something doesn't seem to work right during these peak hours. Zooming out, I can see abnormal behavior around that time on other metrics as well, such as the write latency, cache hit rate, and others. Something is definitely not working right on the production environment on, around that time. Let's try and understand the latency path. Where is the latency coming from? Which end user requests are impacted? For that, I correlate with Cassandra-related traces. Logs.io's distributed tracing is based on Jaeger open source. And as you can see, it's already preset based on my existing context to the last 24 hours as before. And the microservice selected is the application API, the microservice impacted by Cassandra. I can see some increase in the trace duration on the application API. This is the request latency of that the user end user actually feels on the end API. In order to see that better, I will filter for the minimum duration of one second to make sure that we see the long running traces. Now we can see a very clear pattern. Here, we can see an increase in the duration of the end user requests around the application API around the same time frame, roughly between 2 p.m. and 10 p.m. If I sort by the longest first traces, I can see that the longest ones are actually even over nine seconds long, which is definitely an abnormal latency. Let's look into one of these long running traces. Here, I can see the execution sequence, starting from the application API service and the session details operation, then calling another operation of the application API, then calling another operation on another microservice, the authentication microservice, and so on and so forth. The sequence seems normal, only a few milliseconds delay between invocations. That is until we get to the session token operation of the session microservice. This operation takes nearly nine seconds long, and it seems to also block following operations from starting. I'll click on that span and see the details. Here we can see various details of the span, like the environment on which it's running, the host name on Kubernetes, the region, and other details. One interesting, particularly interesting detail here is the peer service that appears to be Cassandra. This is the remote service that is being approached by the session microservice. Apparently, the root cause of the issue is related to Cassandra. To zoom into that, I'll correlate with the system logs. Now the Kibana view is loading in the log management service with my search context carried over. The time frame is set to the last 24 hours, and the query is set to service string Cassandra. Unfortunately, we have nearly 42,000 log hits for this context. That's way too many logs, which makes it hard to understand what the issue is. This is where AI, artificial intelligence, can help. Logs.io's insights engine flags one new exception in the exceptions tab. I'll click that. I can see a new Java exception that occurred 146 times during that short time frame, which is quite suspicious. Let's look at the logs that, of that exception by clicking the filter button here. I can see that these exceptions were reported around the same time as the incident, roughly between 2 and 10 p.m. Let's look at the exception details. Looks like the error comes from the supervisor service. This is a utility microservice in our system in charge of various housekeeping operations. It seems the service fails on a cache eviction from Cassandra during the very the peak hours. Now that I zoomed in on the problematic microservice, I can go and check out the code or the configuration to see why it doesn't handle the load well on peak hours. This was a short taste of the power of observability and how correlating different telemetry data, metrics, traces and logs can boost our incident investigation. Running the investigation on the popular open source Grafana, Prometheus, ELK stack and Jaeger makes it familiar and intuitive for the dev and DevOps teams.